Today we're talking about cataracts. We're gonna answer three common questions we hear. Number one, what are cataracts? Number two, what are the symptoms of cataracts? And number three, how do you know if you have cataracts? So if you're looking for answers to questions like these, then this is a video for you. Come along. Let's start out with question number one. What are cataracts? This is how I answered that question 15 years ago on KMIR. Let's take a listen. If you have trouble seeing, cataracts may be to blame. In fact, cataracts are the leading, leading cause of blindness in the world. And joining us this morning is medical expert Dr. Keith Tokahara with more. Good morning. Thanks for joining us. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Well, let's talk about, all, first of all, what is cataracts? Because I think it's one of those things that people don't really know about until it's too late, until they're diagnosed or someone they know is diagnosed. Right. Now, cataracts are the opacification or clouding of the natural lens of the eye, and it's very common. Natural clouding of the lens? What does that actually mean? To look into that a little bit further, let's dive into our model of the eye. So here's our example model of the eye, and we're going to go over each part here to better understand cataracts. Starting from the front of the eye to the back. In the front of the eye, the cornea, the clear part of the eye where people put the contact lenses on, the iris or colored part of the eye, just behind that is our natural lens. The back of the in the back of the eye is this lining or the retina which is a thin layer of photoreceptors and then the optic nerve. So the lens that we're born with is natural and clear but through time as the years progress the proteins and crystals in that lens opacify or become cloudy. So what used to be a clear lens to see the world around us turns yellowish or even brown in coloration. So light no longer can pass freely through it to the back of the eye, to the receptors in the retina to send the signals of vision and light to our brain through the optic nerve. So now that we have a better understanding about the anatomy of cataracts, let's talk about the symptoms. Today, at the surgery center, I surveyed some of the nurses to ask them what they felt were the main symptoms of cataracts. Let's hear what they had to say. Okay, so here's Anna. Anna, what are the symptoms of cataract? Blurry vision. Blurry vision. Glare and decreased vision. Uh, again, difficulty seeing, driving, uh, also sometimes uh, glaring at night. Blurry vision, um, hard to see the signs at night when you're driving. So if you have any of those symptoms, then you just might have cataracts. And that's our third question. How do I know if I have cataracts? Well, to be sure, call your doctor and schedule an examination. With a careful dilated eye examination, your doctor can tell if you have cataracts and also if you're a candidate for surgery. To find out more, watch our cataract video playlist or go to our website at desertvisioncenter.com. There's information about advanced technology cataracts as well as a cataract self-test. Those questions are important to bring to your surgeon when you talk about your advanced technology lens options to discuss the best implant and surgical plan for you. For those of you who stayed to the end, thank you for watching, and if you found this content valuable or informative, don't forget to press that like button. It really helps our channel and our Desert Vision Center community grow.